Hey, what's going on guys? This is CMB, Coach Marvin Boxing, back with another video guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you can be notified when I drop a new vid. Now, I want to talk about Terrence Crawford for a minute. Now, Terrence Crawford put out a tweet, and I'm paraphrasing, that he hasn't ever ducked any type of smoke. And uh, a lot of people think it's attributed to the pressure that he, that's been mounting on him from the boxing community, some of the fans in the boxing community, about him not wanting to fight Showtime Sean Porter. And uh, I made a video about the reasonings that I thought that Terrence Crawford didn't want to fight uh, Showtime Sean Porter, which the obvious one was, you know, them being such great friends. And then the second reason, in Terrence Crawford's mind, he, he probably feels that him fighting Sean Porter, uh, had, Sean Porter doesn't have anything to offer him because Sean Porter's not holding a title. And uh, I gotta say, uh, some of the people who are, you know, getting on Terrence Crawford's head, they do have a point. They do have a point because, let's face it, you have Errol Spence who's holding uh, the IBF, the WBC title, and then you have Manny Pacquiao who's holding the, the uh, super WBA title. Now, you know you're not going to get that fight with Manny Pacquiao. Uh, Manny Pacquiao is looking to fight uh, Mikey Garcia. Uh, rumors are out there that that's the fight that he's looking at. And you're not going to fight Errol anytime soon because Errol was just in a horrific car accident. And I can't see Errol jumping in the ring with somebody of your caliber, Terrence Croft's caliber. So... The next best thing in, in a lot of people's mind is, is Sean Porter. Because Sean Porter uh, gave Errol Spence a, a, a good fight. You know, he he took it to Errol Spence. You know, that was not an easy fight for Errol Spence Jr. And, and, and I was saying that back then, even before the fight, that it was going to be a tough fight for him. You know, even though at one point in time, you know, Errol Spence was thinking he was just going to run through Sean Porter. So, if you can beat Sean Porter in a more, if, if you can stop Sean Porter or beat Sean Porter uh, better than Errol did, then that's going to make that fight with you and Errol that much, that much bigger, you know, it's going to put more eyes on you. So, I think it would be a great idea if he went out and fought Sean Porter. I don't know if he's going to do it, but... Even if he, say he doesn't fight Sean Porter, you know, I heard Sergey Lipinets called him out. Why not make that fight? You know, he's looking for a fight, and he's been doing pretty good since he's been in the 147 division, you know. And then there's Ugas, you know. Uh, Ugas is a great opponent. Uh, anybody on that PBC side, uh, I think, is... Uh, a, a better set of opponents than you have mm -hmm. on the top rank side because let's face it, there's not a lot of welterweights over there uh, named welterweights. So, like I said, I get it with the fans. You know, everything's not black and white. You know, you got some people who team Crawford, some people who team Errol Spence. You know, this is your fault. You know, this is his fault. You know, everything's just not black and white, guys. There's gray areas. So, uh, both sides have some some stuff to blame, you know. So, tell me what you guys think. Uh, should he fight uh, Sean Porter, even though they're friends, or should he just, you know, wait and see what's going to happen with Earl Smith Jr.? You know, in my opinion, the way it's looking, he might as well just go ahead and fight Sean. If not, you know, Ser Sergey Lipinets. So. All right, guys, this is Coach Marvin. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like I said, and uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.